It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers That dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Welcome, I am Missla. This is Deponia by the Dalek Entertainment out of Germany. It is a point-and-click adventure game. It is a first, the first in a series of three games. The third one has not been released yet. This game was released back in 2012. Second one was released shortly thereafter, and we are now awaiting the third one. Yeah. We play as Rufus. Who junk. lives on Deponia and is currently looking junk. at junk, junk, and more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. So our first task as a Rufus is to get away from this junkyard by finding his list. We got a suitcase here. Check it, it out. It really is time I got out of here. No doubt. Let's open this thing up. Ah, what we got? There's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions: the toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter. What the? Well, it's an adventure game. I guess I must have had a reason to put it of on. Wish you the boat cutter. Come on now. You know how adventure games are. We got up here. We got a giant telescope. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. Okay. Down here, old escape huh. plans. My old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. So apparently, you tried to escape many times before. Yeah, a torch. We're taking that bad boy. Alright, take the torch. Oil can. Let's take that. Can we look at stuff? What we got? The oil is rancid. I could use it for hair wax. Ugh. The best thing about it is the can. Is the can. Okay. This could be useful. So might need the can later, if not the rancid oil in it. Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left the ponia without me. It's kind of harsh. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. Oh, okay. To the living area. Let us go down here and see what's going on. We have a first aid kit. Toothbrush we need. What else we got over here? Door to Tony's room. Let's... Okay, so this first aid kit. See if we can get some first aid. You might need some. Locked. Because you know. Tony must have the key. What? Come on now. Alright, let's go in her room see what's going on. So we can steal a key. Ah! Whoa, now. Whoa! Whoa, what's that? I know, right? Don't kill me just for, you know, opening the door. So I won't enter her room? Whoa! That girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together. At all. Because you're both a little crazy. All right, let's Another read this. Another note from Tony. What's she complaining about now? Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. But well, she had the key to this. Can I break it open? Ah, the first aid kit. It saved my life several times. But since the time I tried to build a shrapnel-propelled jet, there's no band-aid left. The only thing in there now is Tony's tranquilizer. That sounds useful. Can we get that? All right, let's look at this other message. Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Probably not. Yeah, right. Probably it not. Dreams. All right, let us... Anything in here? Oh, it's just a little... Okay. We got nothing up in there. We got a toothbrush. We'll take that. Whoa! Oh, there's a plunger we missed. Ah, uh, what? What? So our toothbrush just ran away. That's... On me. I don't even know what to say about that. In a more germ-free environment. That's okay. It's kind of crazy. What is plunger? Can we get that without it jumping away from us? Oh. 
There's our toothbrush in this dark corner. I'm assuming we can just grab it from there. We got, we got some detergent. I usually leave that stuff for Tony. I've only used it once. But all my clothes got discolored. And the shed burned down. The shed burned down. Use detergent. Okay, that's... Worrisome. A the bolt cutter so we don't need. It's a pretty useless gadget if you think about it. What? This is obviously the first game where he has not discovered the joys of bolt cutters. Can we? It's mocking me. Yeah, well, j just you wait. So we Come can't on, grab brushy, it. Brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh, crap. I okay. need a better plan to catch it. Fair enough. Let's go on down here. There are litters everywhere. Tony does not like us. That's what's happening here. Malicious memo. Treat it. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. They might. The... Oh, yeah. Well, I'll take that chance. See? Exactly. The toothbrush runs away. Maybe it will, too. Some nasty looking water. Got a pot of water. Pot with water. And Tony keeps complaining that I don't do enough housework. Okay. We'll take a fork for whatever reason. Bitchin' post it. Click it. You scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? Probably I don't lots. I understand the question. Yeah, probably, probably lots. You think we can steal? All right, I'm an adventurer. That's what's wrong with me. Took all the food, left a sock. That's sounds about right, honestly. All right, we got another note. Go around the house, look at everything. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. Come on I now. Finding leftovers in it. Come on now. Well, isn't that a good thing? Seriously, it's a snack. Closet there. Hold on, let me back up. Uh, back over here. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. Ew. Uh, without something to put Ew. them into. Nah, I'm not collecting them. What? Ew. That's nasty. Got a hot plate. We got an oven. Can we open it? Yes. We have a hot plate. We can't even with them. Sure. Oh, cold. Because we don't have any fire. Okay. What's this closet? <laughs> it's like a crate, but you know, crate closet. Huh. Not a chance. The handle is missing, and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let us. We'll come back to that and the toothbrush, of course. We have a coat. These coats are incredible. Unbelievable how much stuff you can cram into the pockets. Fair enough. Let's look. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. Nice, nice. So let us... What's we got? We go outside. Let's not go outside yet. The rest of the sink I don't see why I, of all people, should do the dishes. I mean, Tony has much more experience with it. That's, um, awful. So we need something to put the peas in. Our pot already has water in it. That's not going to do it. Can I use oil? This one he said. Rancid. I could use the it for can's good, right? The best thing about it is the can. All right. Can we dump the... Can we dump it out? Let's that seems simple, but... Oh, nice. We have a can now? We do empty can. Excellent. Can we just use that on the? What's it? Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. Fair enough. All right, what's we got? We have. Yeah, open this. All right. Blow torch probably is not wisdom. Pl can we plunge a door? Oh, okay. There we go, mouse hole. The mouse skedaddled long ago, which doesn't mean that its plan was better than mine. Sounds like it does, buddy. Sounds like it does. Ouch! What's the mouse trap in there? All right, so we have a mouse trap. The mouse skedaddled long ago, which doesn't right. mean that its plan was better than mine. Can we put peas on the mouse trap? That's all the food we got. It seem like peanut butter or cheese or anything. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. Oh, we get nice. All right. So we have bait and a trap. Can we put it up here with the uh, toothbrush? 
Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. Great. That sounds wonderful. Uh, all right, so we needed a bolt cutter, some provisions, toothbrush, and socks. We have socks. Well, those are two socks, all right. Right. I need a pair. I don't want to show up in Elysium dressed like an idiot. What? What? You're kidding me. All right, have you got socks like in your room somewhere? Get drawers. I would open the trunk. We have a cushion. I can sleep when I'm dead, or if I survive and uh, get confined to bed with broken legs. Great, that's cute. Can we? <laughs> What's Found the sock. All right. Sock. That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Ew. That's disgusting. Take that sock. We had what, a Yona blue sock before. Okay, so we can do something with those. I'm sure to make uh, green socks with the yellow and blue one. Right. We got green sock. Those will make a green sock somehow. With the detergent. I usually leave that stuff for. T I've only used it once. But all my clothes, clothes got, got discolored. discolored. All right, so detergent. Damn, the shed burned down. Yeah, still weird. Still weird. Detergent in a pot of water. Hot detergent. Okay. A uh, sock in the pot. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. Hmm. Too bad there's no boiling water. Okay, so you go to our hot plate. Let us head on down. One thing I like about this game is that you can double-click exits and stuff, and it will just, like, zoom you there instead of actually having to watch uh, Rufus walk around. It's a little thing, but it's important for adventure games to do things like that for you. All right, hot plates. Um, fire. I need something flammable to start the fire. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've got uh, this paper. Bunch of notes from Tony. In you go. There we go. <laughs> All right, now set it on fire. Do you like an accelerant or anything? Maybe besides the paper. Nope. Okay. That's good. I don't want to have to find like gas or something around here. Close that before we kill ourselves. We have a pot. And Tony keeps complaining that I don't do enough housework. Right. And let us put our socks in there. I may not be an expert. But I'm sure I need a hot wash. It is a hot wash. Okay, good. I'm like, what are you talking about? You just... That's what you need. Put it in there. Is that it? We gotta add all of them? That's kind of weird, but, you know. Okay. And Tony keeps complaining. Right. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! Uh, okay. Um... Bolt cutters. Fork. Do we need to agitate? Like stir it around or something? Like get, you know, noodles or something? Whoa, look at that! The sock changed color! Do we just throw the fork in there or do we like stir it around? The other one. That's kind of weird. Oh, clear case of sacrificial color mixing. We have socks, pair of socks, excellent. Excellent. Let us go and put our stuff back into our suitcase. And then we will get on with our start plan, which hopefully is more than just, you know, walking down the street with a suitcase. Well, who knows? Check. Provisions. Check. Peace. Check. Well, look at that. Toothbrush, because, you know, peace. Toothbrush. Check. And the only important thing here, the bolt cutter. Bolt cutter? For whatever right. reason. For whatever reason, it's a bolt cutter. Seems like I've packed everything. Good job. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Well, turn the. Seems like I've got to unpack some. Follow the piece sideways. The toothbrush. That much space. Come on now. You don't need warm socks. Space. It doesn't take that much space. Yeah, it does. You see that giant can? Giant can of peas is huge. Don't let me get rid of bolt cutters. I'll That's not cool. I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. That I mean, is not I cool. I need a bolt cutter where I'm going. What? I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. Because you've played these games before and you know. <laughs> now it fits. Packed and ready to go.
You know we're gonna need that. You know we are. Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. It's not very yeah, nice, thanks, is it? Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can Elysian laugh Elysian Orbit you. Pixie. Whatever. Sounds but good say, to me. Can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, what? sure. Help yourself. My As bolt cutter. This dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all my this My bolt cutter's behind. valuable. You can go that, pick that thing I back up. Remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later. I trust it. What is going on here with the rockets? The well, then hurry up. <laughs> well, you know that the Organon are always on time. What is happening right here? I just need to prepare my escape pod for launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime. Then the rockets will shoot a powerful electromagnet toward a passing Organon cruiser. What? The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. What? Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. Then the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. This time, nothing can go wrong. That's insanity. That is insanity. All right, so there's our fuse. There's our giant rockets, harpoon, suitcase. All right, dwarf pod. What does our pod look like? Hmm. I might be able to do without this. With the seat? Take it out then. <laughs> New problem. <laughs> oh crap! It's screwed tight. Okay. Storage space. This battery out. And now? Well, it's a suitcase. Now where shall I put it? Should put it in the in the storage slot. There we go. Exactly. Come on now. Alright, so I couldn't move that. That's probably where the battery has gotta go, I'm assuming. Can I put the battery like right here? Like on if the I seat. Remove the seat, it might just fit. But oh. it's gonna be attached. And more importantly, where shall I sit? You just keep the battery in your lap and you know see how that goes for you. We have a wrench that I looked at over earlier. Let's grab that. That's right. Let us use our wrench on this seat. I like when the things you need are like on the screen with you. I'd be able to do without this. I know, right? You just don't need to sit down. Put the battery up here. But how's on it the... going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? I don't know. All right, so we need a seat apparently. Let's talk to Wenzel. Hey, Wenzel. Hey, trying Wenzel. to get all my stuff. Trying to get my stuff. Do you think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Do you also think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Don't know. I'm happy with what I got. Yeah, but I will have so much more. Aw, hm. oh, poor, poor Wenzel. All right. You don't have to work. And do you also think that no one has to work in Elysium? Just a moment. You're not even working now. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm meant to be up there. Uh, Wenzel's not working either. Come on now. <laughs> the, the most beautiful of all. And don't you think the Elysian women are the most beautiful of all? I've never really understood why Tony and you aren't together anymore. Yeah, well, that's why you'll be rotting in this forsaken hole forever. I deserve better than having to listen to lectures about my laziness and my unreliability all the time. Great. Any, Any signs, signs? Of the organon yet? Nope. On their train thing? The Organon are always on time. It's no accident that we set the town hall clock by them. Wonder if that's important later. Alright, I'll know the plan. Work, then. I know yeah, the plan I is. That. You haven't got much time left. I don't know. Alright, looking for a seat for my escape pod of insanity. I still can't get in here, right? Ah, the first aid kit. It saved my life, but since the time I tried to build a shrapnel propelled jet, there's no band aid left. The only shrapnel propelled jet. Sounds amazing. Alright, let us sofa sink coat outside. Let's go see what's up. What is in front of this house? 
there's a dude. What we got? We have a chili pepper. We have a mailbox. Okay. We have this dude. Can we click on that? Nope. Alright. Let's get a chili pepper. Ouch! Hot. Oh. Tony always had weird tastes concerning flowers. Come on now. It's not a flower. Just talk to Hannock. Hey, um. How you doing, Hannock? Well, uh, working hard. Ah! <laughs> I'm really working hard there, Hannock. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be going for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Because you're guarding it so well. Nobody can get through there. Did you, you see, see Tony? Tony anywhere? Tony? You big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah! Tony! Well... I guess Which of the descriptions think did it? Work. Big angry or like fire? Else. Except you. Hannah, you are not working. Wenzel is not working. Now we're standing there leaning against a board drinking coffee. I'll, I'll write, write you a, a postcard. postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. All right, let's look at our mailbox. <laughs> New problem. I just meant <laughs> open it. Wow, oh, it's screwed tight. Oh, okay, so we can take it? Is that like a nut and bolt right there? Got a wrench still. I just meant still the mail, but you know, hey. Ow. Also take a mailbox, I guess. Let me look at it. A saddle-shaped box. A classic. Saddle-shaped. Like we need a seat. Huh? Maybe? Maybe put the battery inside the mailbox. I don't know if it'll fit, but you know, we can try. Wing try. Why not? Why the heck not? Let us get on back out of here. Get on here this base plate. Let us take our mailbox and attach it to this base plate. Hmm, that sounds promising. Ha! Check that out. Go. Check that out. Need some nails, I think. Uh, see, now we opened it. Should get the mail out of it. But no, no mail. Okay. Ha! There you go. See? Here. The capsule is ready. Now. It's so dangerous looking. Look at that mess. Food. Look at that crazy. So I can't put the bolt cutters like right there on the side. Just saying. Just saying. Let's go look at our harpoon rocket of death. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then I'm gone. <laughs> this will be a walk in the park. All right, so our goal is to get this to here. But you can't use up and left or left and up because, you know, that's for suckers. One thing I like with this game is you can um, just skip it. If you decide that you don't like to put these kind of puzzles, you can just be like, screw that noise. I ain't got time for that junk. Skip it. That's a thing. Um, I'm not gonna try to do this. So let's kind of find that movie there at all. Nope. Seems promising, doesn't it? Maybe not. Yeah, it does. Hold on. I want to go here. Oh, I can't go up and left. All right, I will skip forward when I figure out how to do this. And here we go. The power of editing. Now, I'll just light the fuse and boom. Light the wow, fuse be, and boom. Bye, Wenzel. Ah, Hello, Rufus. Tony, Hi, why Tony. Are you sneaking around like that. This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious. Not now, once I blow it up. My mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. 
A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. I got a letter to read, hold on. But it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. You should read that letter. If only that was true. See, now you're starting to lose It's not good luck. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. Don't be mean. Don't be mean now. There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. So mean, Tony. So mean. Why do why you hate like that? No, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. So mean. So mean. This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. We apparently have not been very good to Tony, and she's happy to see us gone. I suspect, because it seems like we've, you know, tried this a lot of times. Where's my letter at? Why is my letter not in inventory? It's harsh. All right, let's light this fuse. So it's over here, right? Yes. Now is when it counts. That's right. Hand torch on the fuse. Whoa. Hullabaloo. Let's do this. Get in there. Our giant oh, rail okay. train thing. Maybe I should read the letter. Oh, Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridger, we are happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's... Ah, that's... Ooh. So, Rufus is dead. Apparently. We should now be playing as Tony from now on. <laughs>